The first miracle Jesus worked in Mark's gospel was exercising a demoniac. The first miracle in each gospel is very significant. It sets the theme for the whole gospel. It basically tells us what Jesus expects of his disciples. If, before anything else, he exercises a demon, he's telling his followers they, like he, are to get rid of evil, no matter what it costs, no matter how painfully we limp. That seems to be one of the reasons Mark composed today's gospel. How can we expect to avoid suffering if Jesus couldn't avoid suffering? In this case, the suffering that comes from being misunderstood by those closest to you. We understand why some of Jesus' enemies, like the Jerusalem scribes, interpret his snake-killing actions as coming from the devil himself. But what's worse, even his relatives, later identified as his mother and brothers, are also convinced he's out of his mind. The preaching that brings life to so many tears his own family apart. How many of us, for family peace and tranquility, frequently keep our mouths shut instead of speaking up when we discover evil? Why would we create more evil by pointing out the evil that's already there? If we eventually leave this world in the same condition in which we found it, we and those around us might experience a peaceful, painless existence, but we'll never do what God put us on earth to do.